I apologize for the break in the video. Um, I have been experiencing some difficulties. For some reason, sometimes the video will just stop recording video, but keep recording audio. So I have to trim the video. So um, I have. I don't think I've experienced this with any videos that I've made for stats yet up until now. But my calc videos, they're a little bit longer, so it happens more often. Okay. But we're just gonna continue with the example. Everything's still the same. Um, degrees of freedom 17, our standard deviation is 1.5, um, confidence level 99, alpha 0 0.1. We were about to find the chi-squared right values and the chi-squared left values. So on your chart, you got your degrees of freedom. You're gonna go all the way down until you find the degrees of freedom of 17. See, 0.99 is right here. So this would be your chi-squared left value. All the way at the end of the table, 0 0.01, this is gonna be your chi-squared right value. So take a moment, look at the chart, and you could pause the video and see if you could find those two values on your own. Again, there is no calculator feature that will give us these values. We are going to have to uh, use the table to figure these out. So again, if you go to the table, go down to 17, and look at the left value, uh, I got 6.408. Or 6 6.408. And if you go all the way to the other side, let's see, 33.409. Okay, so make sure you have these values. Get, give a good look. Sometimes I know when you're going over, I've done this in the past, when you're going over you actually go up a row or you go down a row like that. Or if you're going down like this, you actually go accidentally go over. I've done those mistakes, so I'm just warning you about them. Give them a good look through. Make sure uh, you have the actual right values. Uh, just double check, okay? Now that we have all of our relevant information, we can construct the confidence interval for the standard deviation. So first we need to construct the confidence interval for um, the variance, which n minus one times s squared divided by the chi squared right value, uh, n minus one times s squared divided by the chi squared left value. So n minus 1, well that's 17. Standard deviation is 1.5 squared divided by the chi-squared right value, 33.409, less than 17 times 1.5 squared divided by the chi-squared left value, 6.408. So after you get to this point, and just punch it in the calculator, 17 times 1.5 squared, um, let's see, divided by 33.409, 1.144, 1 and on that side, oops, 5.964. And then to get the standard deviation, we just square each one of these numbers because that's what it's asking for. We want to construct a confidence interval for the standard deviation and not the variance. Okay, now... So now we have our confidence interval for the standard deviation. It goes from 1.070 to 2.443. So what we can say is that we are 99% confident that the true population standard deviation for the average height of men, for the height of men, 
is somewhere between 1.07 inches and 2.44 inches. Okay, it should, we're 95% sure that it will fall somewhere between these two numbers. Okay, so that's it for chapter um, chapter 11. Um, 8 and 11, all we were doing was constructing confidence intervals. Okay, so just to summarize, if you're constructing a confidence interval for the mean, you either uh, sigma is unknown or sigma is known. There is a proportion, okay, and then there is the standard deviation slash the variance. Well, if you're working with the standard deviation or variance, you're always going to use the chi-squared distribution. If you're dealing with a proportion and you're, or a mean and you know sigma, you know the population standard deviation, you're going to use the z-distribution. Now, if you're making a confidence interval for the mean, and you don't know your population standard deviation, then you're going to use the t-distribution. Okay, so a nice little web diagram showing you what distribution you should use. Okay, this tells you how to get your critical numbers to compute your error formulas. Okay. So if you're dealing with a mean, you should ask yourself, do you know the population standard deviation or do you, sorry, do you know it or do you not know it? If you know it, use z-distribution. If you don't know it, use t-distribution. If you're dealing with the proportion, always use z-distribution. If you're dealing with standard deviation variance, always the chi-square distribution, okay?